Well, welcome back, my friends, to another, oh, another one, rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. Listen, 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 listen. This is the Demco Free Rain, Demco USA. So here's the deal. The blade was made in the USA. The handle and the sheath was made in Taiwan. It was assembled in the USA, and I appreciate their honesty on that. Now, let me say this. It's been mentioned a couple times. I'm a huge supporter of Taiwanese knives. Always have been, always will be. And for those of you who say Taiwan's part of China, please go back to school. It just makes you look bad when you think that. That being said, I am super fired up, super excited about this, and we're going to jump into it in one second. Before we do, guys, listen. Listen, listen, listen. This is important. We're heading into the weekend. We've got a huge, and I mean massive, monster raffle going on for Donnie B all day. I've got several videos on it. Check it out. You really, truly, honestly don't want to miss that. That being said, this is the Demco Free Rain. It was sent to me by Timbo437. If you're not subscribed to Timbo, you really need to be. The guy has a monster collection and a huge heart. And he sent this, and I'm so excited that he did. I've been wanting to check one of these out. It's, it's all that. I'm just going to be honest with you. Now, this sheath, I'm not a sheath guy. I mean, it's great to have one, and I like them. But some guys get really into the sheaths. I don't. But I, I do want to say, on this sheath, you see the Demco logo there. I do want to say, I am pretty impressed with it. It rides just where I need it to. I have short arms. We all know this. But it rides exactly where I need to. It fits very well. It locks the knife in. I'm impressed with it. And you, it's got several, several carry options. You can go Molly compatible, uh, belt loop. You, there's just a lot to it. Now, the knife, let me go ahead and give you the specs. It's Magna Cut. The HRC on this is interesting. It's 62 HRC. That's what they got it rated as. The blade thickness is 0.183. The overall length is 9.875 inches. The blade length is 5 inches. The cutting edge is 4.625. So it's a prime size for a lot of you guys. And I absolutely, I'm telling you, this one's a favorite. And it held up very well. Now, if you're new to the channel, the way we do our demonstrations, we, they're not really reviews, right? We bring them in. We do first impressions. We run them through a series of, of stuff. It's not tests because there's nothing scientific about the shit. And we just see how it performs. We don't do a lot of long-term testing. That'll come later. We're trying to develop kind of a, a, a skill set and a, and a way to test knives. I will say this. This is one of my favorite knives that I've done. And, and honestly, it held its edge superbly absolutely superbly and I, I i am very impressed with it i love magna cut to begin with and this is just absolutely awesome now that being said that being said the handle the handle is an injection injected molded and i believe this would be called an enclosed tang there's always some concern when you have an enclosed tang like this with an injection molded or a rubber handle, something like that, uh, that it's going to loosen up. I can tell you that in just this little bit of testing, I spent a couple hours really, truly kind of going at it with this knife. It didn't loose. It didn't feel loose. If you have one of these and you've had it long term, let us know. That is kind of a, an, an issue. I don't think it's a major deal, but it's something to look out for. Before we go any further into video, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives now stats are everywhere they really are going in the weekend it's going to be higher that's why this channel focuses on the number zero anything over zero is simply unacceptable and vets all that means man is we love you you have a place here we back to blue over here we support Leo. Oh, i talk about it a lot man it's not popular i get it and and that's why we live in the usa i don't ask anybody to support these it's just my personal beliefs they're not all bad. They're not all good. I support the good one. My kid's going to be one. There we go. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, the knife. It is a drop point. But I, I'll say this. It's close to a spear point. It really is. But the, the, the point sits just a little high to be considered a spear point. So, it's a drop point. It has a flat grind, stone wash finish. I love the damn knife. Great stabber. We're doing the John Peter stab test there. 
And, and one of the reasons I do the stab test is yes, to check the tip. Now, that is tire tread. It's about an inch thick, but it is not steel belted. I like pointing that out. Now, I open cutting the tire because the tire is steel belted. I like putting a little pressure on the edge, right? Because sometimes they, those steel fibers can eat up and eat up an edge. I've got to be honest with you. I was very, very, very impressed with this knife. Now, we're going to baton here. And then later in the video, we're going to do more batoning. I pushed down there and I, I did that part on purpose, right? I made, I made sure that there was a little bendy at the bottom because I'm silly that way, I guess. Now, what I wanted to show is the knife sharp. This might be one, this has got to be in the top three sharpest knives I've ever used. It also allows several different grips that we're going to cover a little later in the video. See, that's what I was talking about the sheath. It rides very, very well. Now I'm going to fumble with it, stab my shirt. That's always just part of old scabber putting a knife up. But here's the thing. It fits right back in there, and it rides for me, for me, perfectly. And, and there it is. It's secure in the sheath. Um, I'm really impressed with the lockup, but it's not so, oh yeah, looking at good, scabber. But it's not so much there. We pulled it out. It's easy to pull, right? But it's secure if that makes sense. So I, I, again, I'm not a huge, like if I got a sheath, if I carry it, man, that's awesome. But the thing is this, in most sheaths, if y'all want to know the God's honest truth, man, most sheaths I stick inside my belt. I really do. I've just always been careful there. Now I wanted to show y'all this. It's got a little walnut splitter, wig splitter, whatever you want to call it there. But when you're stabbing, it's not uncomfortable. And I think that's part of that handle design there. I wanted to strike a fair rod. It's not a, it's not a sharp, sharp 90 degree spine, but a knife like this reminds me of a woods knife, a camp knife, a survival knife. And I'll be honest with you, I'm always curious. And it, it really, it struck it. If I needed to start a fire, I could. This part, let's just watch. That's still belted sandblast hose, but I want you to pay attention to what I was cutting it on. I was cutting it on a flimsy tire. This knife sharp, son. It went straight through it. No edge damage whatsoever. Now, again, we do some light batoning. I try to cut materials that do have some steel in them. I don't really cherry pick materials. If you want to know really my philosophy on a knife, and I'm trying to dial it in. Now, I, here in a minute, we're going to baton through a knotty log. We really are. I try to use the knife or I try to show the knife in just day-to-day -day stuff, right? We cut industrial materials. It's good for the aesthetic. It's good for the eye. But we don't just beat the shit out of a knife. Now, before anybody says anything, I know I haven't seen Ren and Stimpy or Slick and Jeff's or Jimmy's video. And that, no, those aren't people I'm referring to. I'm just saying I haven't seen any videos on this knife. All I can judge, and, and again, if you're new or hell, if you've been with me a while, I don't base my reviews on anybody else. This channel just doesn't regurgitate old shit, right? Or the same old, same old. I, I, I'd like to build my own opinions and base my own opinions on how the knife performs based on my skill set. Do I have the best skill set? No. But I can't judge a knife based on other people's skill set. I'd love to, but that doesn't do me any good and it doesn't do you any good. I'd say I'm a novice at best and I'm just being honest. So if you take my skill set and you look at it, and you see a knife that performs pretty well, bear in mind, because sometimes as knife reviewers, and I mention this a lot, but I think this is important, that knife's only as good as the user's skill set. So if a knife shows poorly, sometimes we'll tend to want to blame the knife. If it shows great, we want to take the credit. But the truth is, the truth is, one of the reasons that I do the reviews the way that I do, meaning I do the same shit in every review. Yes, it gets a little redundant. And let me just say this, guys. If, if you follow my channel for a while and there's a knife that you're just not interested in, man, I'm not mad at you if you don't watch. I get it. We do a lot of redundant stuff, but I do that redundant stuff so you can, in your mind, know what we're going to do. And I think that you, it gives you a good idea of how that knife truly performs, Right? The more you see these simple tests or demonstrations, the more you can say, hey, that's a knife for me, or that's not. 
and I'm not, listen, I'm not mad at you if you're like, damn it, Scab, I'm just not interested in the swords today. Cool, got it. I'm not mad at you. But I do like the redundancy. Now here, it's good to do a little pinch grip. And guys, listen, with this, this particular little exercise, I made sure I was very careful. Sometimes I go at stuff willy-nilly. And for you younger cats, I, yes, that's an old term. Sometimes I get a little lazy. But here, I really wanted to make sure I was paying attention. I didn't want it to slide up. I didn't want to cut myself. Here's, here's the thing. Watch, look at that. Guys, this is walked straight in the door. No stropping, no honing, no nothing. Hell of an edge on this knife. All I got to do is strop it up, send it right back to Timbo, and it's still sharp as shit. Dude, listen. Absolutely adore this knife. Do I recommend it? If you can get your hands on one, get your hands on one. It's just badass. Timbo, thank you, brother. I love you. Much appreciated. Guys, I'm Scab. You're not. It's a kick-ass knife. Oh, look at old Scab over there. I'm gone, son.